Stephen King's name has come up a number of times. And um, you recently wrote an article entitled Room 217, Why I Never Left for uh, Horror Oasis. It's on their website. Yeah. And yeah. I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, Go ahead. Yeah. Let, me, let me read this quote. I really like this. I'm a horror guy. I don't have a choice in the matter. It's the same way certain people favor savory or sweet, the Beatles or the Stones. They really don't know why they prefer those things. They just do. And, you know, so we're talking about joy. And I think that there's a certain joy with being found when something or someone chooses you. And oftentimes that's how many of us feel with horror. Um, and so when I, when I read those words out of that article, that's, that's how it jumped out to me. Is, is that how you feel? Do you feel almost as if horror chose you and you had no say in, the, in, in it? Absolutely. You're, I feel like, you know, I knew what vampires, werewolves, and zombies were before I read a book about them. Mm. Whether that's the culture of what I was growing up in bled in, but I don't really think it is. I just think I knew about them. I knew about the tropes. I knew about the... It just it's it's it siphoned into me. You know, we we are inundated with a thousand things every day, but there's only certain things we remember, and the things we remember are the things that perhaps mean something to us. And I remembered those things as a kid. I I've I found that information about scary stuff valuable to keep on with me. And then when I was experiencing, you know, when I was playing that zombie game, nobody had explained to me what a zombie was, but I was eight years old and I was playing it. You know, and uh, so I do think these things are predisposed to us. Um, you know, it's but it, it's finding it. That's the thing. You don't necessarily find what is for you. Um, your t whatever whatever is makes you happy in life when you're in your teens or you're growing up. You could find it when you're in for when you're forties, fifties, or sixties. But um, you you know, it's there. And if you keep an open mind, you'll find it. But uh, you were saying it's a recent. It actually is not recent. Um, it's recently published. Absolutely. But I wrote that article at the Stanley Hotel in 2019. Wow. Um, um my wife and i it was our la last holiday we've been on before the pandemic and we were going on holiday with no idea where we were going we had a month in america we were we flew in and landed in la stayed in a night in vegas and the plan was whatever the plan will be so we just drove and we find ourselves going further and further east we ended up in albuquerque because we're big fans of breaking bad and we did kind of the wee tour there and i was saying you know colorado is close not realizing you know it's quite big and um we drove up the to through uh, the mountains into colorado in november and i had taken a copy of the shining with me um i felt like i was going to reread it and i got to boulder we actually stayed a night in boulder and i started reading the book in boulder and then I was saying to her, come on, you know, I've said to my wife, we have to stay at the Stanley Hotel. This will be amazing. This is like this. I, I want, I've wanted to do this since I read the book at 13. So I stayed the night or we went and we stayed, I think we stayed two nights and it was, it was amazing, uh, amazing experience. Uh, but I just find myself, I'm in the place where the, the genesis of this book came from. And this book has, has led me on the path that I've lived the last with about the time 20, 29 years of my life you know i i read that book at 13 i had been writing since i was nine I, I find that quite peculiar about my own journey is i started writing before i was actually a reader i tried to read and in that article i discussed that i just couldn't finish a story i could start a goosebumps book and get past chapter one and i wouldn't get any further but i i was looking for something i was, I was searching for something that seemed to be fit for me and I seemed to want to be in reading. And my father had read the Stephen King books when he was my age or my, my age back then when I was in my teens. And he recommended them. I picked The Shining at random because it was the only one I'd heard of because I knew there was a big budget film behind it. And I remember it was a summer holiday and I finished that in a caravan. I finished it in the kitchenette of a caravan. And I remember flipping to the front and seeing the contents page of all his bibliography. And I thought, if he can do it, I can do it. Hmm. And I started, I came up with a horror story uh, and my first horror novel on the back of finishing that book. And so while I was there at the hotel, I was thinking of all these things, all this, all this nostalgic things of, I'm in the place where this came from, but this book has led me to this, all these things. And, been, and bear in mind, 2019, I was self-publishing. Um, I'd self-published four um, 
short story slash novel novelettes and they were doing really well so it was like I'm, I'm you know I was making progress in a hobby that I'd done in a room by myself so yeah it was a, it was just weird and I wrote all that in the notes page in my phone and I came home and Andrew who uh, is amazing who runs known as the book dad who runs for Oasis was looking for um for me articles and essays and I said well I have this thing about Stephen King I know no one else talks about him you might have heard of him and uh, would you like it <laughs> and that's wow. it that's awesome 